So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the P1148 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P1148 code? Well, it's a closed loop pink one. And what does this mean? Well, an engine could be running in what's called a closed loop or an open loop. And basically what a closed loop is, is when the O2 sensors is given feedback on what's being burnt off during combustion. And the computer can use this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the engine. And when this happens, it goes into what's called a closed loop. And when it's in an open loop, it's not using the O2 sensor to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the engine. And when this happens, the engine won't be able to run as well as it could. When the engine's cold and it first starts up, it will be in an open loop and the computer won't be taking any information from the O2 sensor. But as soon as the engine warms up, it should start reading the information from that O2 sensor. It should see if there's too much fuel being burnt off or there's too much oxygen being burnt off. And then the onboard computer will be able to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the engine and it will be able to run much better. And so with this P1148 code, there's a problem with the information coming from the O2 sensor. The computer's not getting any information from the O2 sensor on what's being burnt off. So it's just running in an open loop with no feedback from that O2 sensor. And the basics of what's going on with these O2 sensors is that they're located on the exhaust. You can have sensor one is going to be before the catalytic converter. It's called the upstream. And you can have sensor two, which is located after the catalytic converter. And it's going to be called the downstream. And this sensor one is going to be the one that's sending information back to the onboard computer about the air fuel ratio mixture. And bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And that's the side of the engine that's having the problem. For example, this is a 2011 Nissan Frontier. And as you can see, this is bank one. And this is bank one sensor one right here. But the first thing to do with this code is go locate that bank one sensor one oxygen sensor and either test it or replace it. The next thing that's going to cause this problem is going to be the wiring that's going around. Anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you're going to want to check that out. Also keep in mind that a blown fuse can cause problems. It can be kind of vague sometimes on where the fuse is or where it's located and things like this. So sometimes it's best just to go through and check them all. But for example, here's a 2007 Nissan 350Z and the heated oxygen sensor would be on fuse number 85. But a blown fuse can also cause this problem. And another thing that can sometimes cause this problem, although usually you'll get other codes, but if there's an exhaust leak, it can throw these sensors off. And usually you'll get another code, but exhaust leaks can do strange things to these sensors since more air can be getting into the exhaust than should be. And while a Nissan P1148 code is usually going to be either a bad O2 sensor or in the wiring like an open or short, sometimes an exhaust leak can do strange things. So be sure to keep a lookout for any exhaust leaks that might be going on. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Nissan with the P1148 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.